Né, e poder vir aqui, poder falar um pouco com o Davis, um moleque, pô, amigão meu, né? É, sempre estamos conversando e poder vir aqui falar um pouco, poder ver ele poder treinar, tá treinando 100%, tá muito bem. Poder estar tá perto, né? Isso é, faz parte, é bom a gente estar tá perto das pessoas que a gente gosta, poder ver aquilo que a gente vem gostando. O UFC tá de parabéns, um card completamente recheado de grandes nomes, de grandes lutadores. Que, né, que o Brasil sai com todas as vitórias. Tamo junto. This is the first quadrilogy in, in the history of the UFC and uh, they made that for a reason. This is going to be a crazy fight. Both these guys have that championship mentality. They both have belts. This is the most focused we've seen Biggie in a long time. I mean, his whole camp, he gave his phone to his coaches and had his nose to the grindstone. And I think with that kind of recipe and, and his abilities and uh, his natural gifts, uh, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight. But he's gonna have a big advantage. É bom, é bom, ele é bom, é. Ele é bom. Se você andar para trás, que aí ele se cresce. Cresce. Ele está pronto, ele está pronto. A, a guerra agora é só o corte. Ele tá bem pra caralho. Você senta aqui no dinheiro, ele tá bem pra caralho. Ele se matar, tá bem pra caralho. Olha de onde, quando eu for, vamos se acordar, você vai respeito, tem que ver, tem que ver. Se quiser falar que ele é só, corta o peso bonitinho, o pau não quer. been very fortunate and blessed to be part of this uh, organization for the last 10 years now. I've fought almost every continent except Africa and Antarctica at this point. And I'm just grateful for it all. I mean, it just, like I said, it's part of the journey. 20 years from now, looking back on this experience, like, I probably, I, I can tell you now, I, I won't remember half the fights I've been in, but I remember every single journey that led up around the fight. I remember all the experiences that came with it, with the people I traveled with, the people I met on the road. For me, that's a, a far bigger piece of the, of the journey than anything else, just where I've been, who I've met, and what happened along the way. At the end of the day, give us a, a super tough opponent. The guys were around it everywhere. The man's literally fought the who's who at both 155 and 170. I know for a fact there's a, a big challenge ahead of me, and I'm ready to go meet that challenge head on. Johnny Walker's one of these guys that, as he's walking to the octagon, he's listening to that music, he's feeding off the crowd. I'm pretty much the same, I love that as well. I believe that I'm uh, adequate in all the areas that he, he believes I'm not, so I'm a, I'm a much better grappler than him, much better striker. And my ability to get him fighting in my world is uh, what I'm looking for. Take it to the mat and finish this as soon as possible. Within the next six months to a year, we're going to see a lot of movement in that late heavyweight division. And then if you look at who's in front of me, Wei Jamal Hill, victory over Ankalaev. So I believe that I can be in that top 10, in that top five, in that top championship contending spot. And that's what I see uh, in the late heavyweight division 2023. You filming us? <laughs> Fight against the guy that the only guy that uh, submit uh, Jamal Hill is really good for me because I'm gonna beat this guy. I'm gonna show that I'm good enough. If Jamal get the belt, so it's just gonna show that I can get my revenge. I'll tell you, he's ready for something. Yeah, he's very ready. This guy in the chair. Look at him. He's in the I finished my last fight uh, submitting a guy. 
and I'm gonna fight a guy who's a specialist in jiu-jitsu. I try to finish my fights all the time, or choke him out, or submit them, or, or knock him out. So a few wins gonna put me up there where I deserve because I'm excited, come on. Try to come up with something new, or do you not even think about that? You just worry about I'm going to just become a, an even better version of myself every time I get out there. No, no, no. The, the game plan was very clear for me. So I want to make a statement like, hey, I can finish this guy. I was a little bit emotional in the last one, and he did a lot of a lot of good things, and that af af affect uh, the result. But man, I can finish this guy. I mean, it's about the pressure. It's about the volume. It's about the same pace of the fight. Maybe that. That helped me a lot in the last three fights against him. And second one, I understand uh, the, the division need to go forward too. So I want to finish my rivalry. I want to take all the history uh, with me, uh, and then I start to watch the next challengers. I mean, Pantoja, uh, Nicolau, Cape yeah. in this moment. Thank you, brother. Awesome, guys. Thank, thank you so much, and thank you so much for the gift, guys. Right. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. See, yeah. see you later. See, yep. see you guys. You win or you lose. Obviously, you're 43 years old, but I'm 43. It's crazy that you're still fighting at this time. My body's falling apart. How many more fights do you think you've got left in you, Glover? I don't know, man. I like to say 10 more, but uh, I don't think so. Because <laughs> right now, I'm just having fun, man. Like, I, I, I even uh, joke yesterday, say, I'm in my prime, man. It's quite the story that you've had, Glover. It's so inspirational. And now here you are in Brazil, the chance to become a world champion again. It's crazy the way the whole situation happened and here I am fighting for the belt. It's incredible, man. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. What happened Saturday night? You know, I'm gonna be my style, man. I'm gonna go after finish, you know, and uh, I take the win any, any way, anyhow. But uh, if knockout come in front of this crowd over here, it's gonna be nice and sweet. Who knew all that waking in the gym was waking towards this, baby? I never even left the Midwest, bro. Man. Now we're here, on the other side of the world and stuff. It's crazy, bro. It's gonna keep going, bro. Keep going. We've been together a long time, and I thought it's just crazy. Yeah. Day one in the gym, and now we're here. It's just working, working, working. Oh yeah. That's what. That's what we know. That's what we do, bro. That's what we do. I wonder what it took to build this damn statue, though. I have no idea. Man. I honestly don't know. It's one of the few things I should look up. I'm yeah. Off, uh, push it down. Yeah. Oh, damn. Woo! Oh, this is tight. Yeah. yeah. The phone booth. Phone booth oh, training. Really? Yeah. yeah. Phone booth training. This is tight. Phone booth training. Was that that grappling in the car? Like, <laughs> I see the people was going on? Oh, yeah. The car. Hey, come on. <laughs> There's no way you're missing that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made weight. Right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same, bro. It's beautiful sights. It's just, it's just breathtaking. I don't, man, I can't even describe it, bro. All over the U.S. now in Brazil. Top of the world right here. Yeah, let's go. Jumbo? 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 We got a picture? Yeah, for sure, bro. Thanks, guys. Thank you very Appreciate much. Bro. No problem at all, bro. Appreciate we will be at the fight, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, got a show. I got a show for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, but that's dope. That's like we standing right next to it. Get in, get in, get in. I don't know if I want to do this, give away my wingspan. 